Yeah. I'm back. What's going on, guys? Betting on bats here. And today, I'm in my aunt's bathroom. Because there's good light in here right now. And I'll eventually step out in my little apartment area, I guess. But anyways, yeah. Um, I'm back. You know I got a little bored. You know. Oh, I think. No, I don't mind if I do. Diet Coke. Um, this video is not sponsored by Diet Coke. I kind of wish she was. Oh, but yeah, today we are going to... Sorry if I'm talking a little low. Got a little bit of a sore throat going. But anyways, here, having a blast actually. Yeah, just got on Thanksgiving. Anyway, happy early Thanksgiving. Uh, happy late. Happy late Thanksgiving to you all. To all my subscribers. Even people who are just watching the video just because... Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Watching oh, oh, Impractical Jokers. One of my favorite shows on TV because I don't really watch much TV. But yeah. So this, I'm at my aunt's house and I thought, well, hmm, I gotta do a video. Back in the bathroom because it's really good lighting actually. So I thought I gotta do a video. So I thought and I thought and I remember... Last Tuesday, this past Tuesday, I went to the movies with Spray Taken Games, my boy Don J. We saw the blockbuster superhero movie, Justice League. And man, I've been waiting since my childhood for this movie. Justice League Unlimited, Justice League Doom, Justice League Flashpoint Paradox, all these animated films. And so putting all the rumors about, oh, there's going to be a Just League Mortal 2008, because I talked about that. I have been waiting and waiting for a Justice League movie, live action. And now they're finally doing it. After the events of Batman v Superman, Batman and Wonder Woman have to team up and recruit hero since. I guess this would be a spoiler alert. Nah, no, it's not because you guys should have saw Batman v Superman, so no. After the events of Superman dying in Batman v Superman. So, yeah, so they try and find heroes, they find the Flash, they find Aquaman, they find Cyborg, and they all. Oh, wait, I forgot someone. Flash, Cyborg, no, 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 I'm not. Oh, and then I'll get. I don't even want to. That's kind of a spoiler. That's going to be a spoiler for your review, mind you. So they have to team up and take on Steppenwolf, which is Darkseid's cousin or uncle one of the two i'm kind of you know not really familiar with them i know all like a lot of dc you know dark side and all that and stuff you know what i mean but that's one thing i really, was really never um stuff was like i knew who he was i knew what his motives were but yeah so stepping wolf's motive in the movie was to get the mother boxes and um with that, he has to go to Atlantis, he has to go to Amazon, um, Amazon, the Mascara, he has to go to Earth and get the Mother Boxes, and that leads the Just League to team up and take down Steppenwolf. So how did the movie, how was the movie you're probably asking? Well, I'm betting on that, so I'm a DC fan for life, you know, but I do respect Marvel War credits too. I just got to, I saw Thor Ragnarok two weeks ago with Spidey Taking Games. Yes, the story was bad. Movie wasn't the great, but the movie was just funny. Movie was funny, and that's what is good at the end of the day. Try to blast. It was just fun. Now, let's go to Justice League. So, okay, I'm gonna lay it down straight here right now. Is Justice League a bad film? No, by no means is Justice League a bad film. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Don't mean to. But there are times where you might feel like story wise, you might want to check your phone to see what time it is because it gets that I wouldn't say boring. Yeah, boring. The story is not that I'm going back in the bathroom and all the comment oh you're in the bathroom. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? kind of warm over here, I like it, but there are times where the story doesn't, you know, feel right. 
It's like it, not that it's rushed. It's that doesn't seem like it's just not all there. You know what I mean? And the story's really not that good. In the first, let's say, half hour of the film, with the exception of the Wonder Woman fight scene in the beginning and the Batman fight scene in the beginning, that first half hour is really sl like s slows down, and you're wondering like why. It makes me look here. The first half hour, like here, I'm gonna say this. Because a lot of the stuff was cut due to Joss Whedon coming in and a lot of the shoots were happening because of Joss Whedon, which I don't think they should have done that, but hey, that's me. Or at least it's actually cut, you know what I mean? Um, it's not that. I don't want to say anything bad because the movie's not bad. It's not. It's that there are times. And you do want to check your phone to see what time it is. Like, hey, when is this movie over? The movie isn't, like I said, it's not bad whatsoever. I can't stop stressing that. The... Okay. I think it was a little bad too, like the cutting of out of the stuff. Like, cutting stuff out. Like, I mean, like, it felt like, okay, I'm going to say this. Aquaman was the best part of the film. He was funny. He was badass. He was like there. He was like he was just like dude so good. So fun too. I liked the flash a lot. Really enjoyed the flash, but they kinda made him look like a joke. No, yes, Barry Allen's a joke in in, in itself. But there were times or when he was running. He looked like Ace Ventura running, if you know what I mean. But, it was just made out of a joke, and I really don't like that. I thought he was fun. But, gave the man a good fight scene, because he never really had a good fight scene. I was really impressed with Cyborg. Now, I don't want to spoil much. There was, there, the movie, Okay, I'm gonna say this is a minor spoiler, I guess. It's a minor spoiler, so be warned. Um, Cyber really doesn't fight in Justice League. Since after Batman vs. you saw he was a part of it, he was like a more or less a mother box. He has to find the ways to get these mother boxes away from each other. And he really didn't fight, and that kind of, you know upset me, so I'm hoping in Justice League 2 and the Cyborg solo film, they really, like, make Cyborg who we all want, and I like Cyborg a lot. He, he was really good. But I know some people might not have liked it, which is fine in itself. But let, let's go to the villain. The villain, okay. I like the villain, but wait, I'll get to the rest of that in a second. Overall, I thought the villain, in the beginning, really strong, powerful force. Like, uh, the Justice League is the unstoppable force, but the immovable object is Steppenwolf. He was this big threat. No one can defeat him. And then at the end, he gets defeated easily. Like, that's problem with team-up films. No, like, am I wrong? The Avengers, they team up and they easily take out Loki in the end. Okay. X-Men, they team up, they easily take out the villain in the end. Captain, oh, Captain America Civil War. Oh, get away, get away from me. Okay, get away from me. It's so... Like, what? I just don't like so I need to know that there's like you can see in my review but they the one person that takes out that one of those Black Panther I just didn't get that but this villain it was a good villain but very disposable especially at the end 
where he gets taken out easily. Like one character in specific, and I'm not gonna spoil it even though he's been in the promos and like trailers. Like, I'm like, they, the movie should not have been called like the movie, it was Justice League. The way the characters interact with each other was great. The characters is what made this film, and the action scenes. The action scenes were really good, especially when fighting Steppenwolf. Really enjoyed it, but. There were times where, you know, Zack Snyder had to step down due to a family issue, and I'm sorry, Zack. I'm I'm very sorry, Zack. But who WB got to replace? And mind you, Just League was done filming, music scored and everything. Then they had to hire Joss Whedon to come in and more or less take over a whole new they just take over the movie, reshoot it and do new music by Danny Elfman. I love Danny Elfman. Batman the Animated Series, 1989 Batman, I, and Spider-Man theme song, I, well, jeez, it's a blue blur, I really enjoyed his themes, love listening to them, but for Just League, I want that, like, they did use the Wonder Woman soundtrack, now, yes, the Batman soundtrack and the John Williams Superman theme are in there in a remix of a way, and I keep that out, but I feel like that movie could have used the Hans Zimmer Superman theme. The um the Batman theme. Like now, yes, they're more dark themes, but it would have worked so much more. You know what I mean? Like let, let's talk about Batman now. He is probably Batman's my favorite hero, you know that. You know he's my favorite hero. What's this notification from NBA? Oh, Stephen Curry leads the Warriors against the Bulls. Cool. Either way. Um. There were... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Batman. He, he had a couple one-liners, which were cool. Now, Batman does have one-liners in the comics, and they really brought that on. I liked it. It's a more lighthearted Batman. Yes, he did have a couple cool action scenes. Yes. Um, but he was kind of the most useless Justice League member. Like, let me think, okay. Mm, I would say the final battle, like when he fought, when they fought Steppenwolf, he was actually really useless. But everything up before that, he wasn't really useless because he had to bring out a couple things. So, not until that point... Like, until that point, he, like, everything before that, he was fine, he was, he, they used him, but then when they found Steppenwolf, he was useless, and I kind of got upset with that. You defeat Superman and Batman be Superman, but you can't, like, throw a punch at Steppenwolf, whatever. That's thing that kind of bothered me. Like, yeah, with the Flash thing, they could have used him way better, could have had him had a great key scene you know how in days of future past Quicksilver had that scene where what was the background music oh there was a background music and I'll say that probably at the end of the video what the music song was but I can't remember was it the Beatles or something I don't know but in the second one in X-Men Apocalypse it was Sweet Dreams by I don't know who the artist was and he could have had a scene like that like, especially in one scene. I would say the first half hour of the movie, except for those two key action sequences I said, Wonder Woman action scene, the Batman action scene, that really could have used, like, they, all that stuff they cut out, they could have been used in there because that part was boring. They could have used that half hour for, say, to introduce more Aquaman to, like, reason why he is here more than what they did. Or The Flash. Or a cyborg, they really didn't. Why does cyborg look like that? Why does Barry have these powers? Why does Aquaman do what he do? Does what does what he does? It's like one of those things. Like eh, I don't get it. We don't know why Wonder Woman and Batman are here. Have you seen Batman v Superman? So the Batman uh, credits in Suicide Squad. You know why they're here, but. I feel like 
that could have been that those things could be cut out to introduce the characters more than they already were but besides that action sequences were good and they were and then I don't want anyone to tell you that they aren't because they are actually really good um Characters were good. They, they, they don't let anyone tell you that they aren't because they actually were really good. But yes, I had fun at the movie. I enjoyed it. But to be honest, I was kind of disappointed in the end result. And that's kind of sad. And to know when I see this movie is the worst thing ever DC has ever put out. No, by no means it's not. Batman, Batman, uh, Batman and Robin. But, it's definitely not the best, The Dark Knight, but, it, it needed something, and I don't know what it needed, it was meant to say something big, Dark Side, but, now it kind of gets me worried for Dark Side, because the end of the credit scene teased something completely different. You know, yes, I'm ex like that end credit scene was fantastic and all. Yes, like I'm geeking out, but like I wonder what they're gonna do with Dark Side. Is that the whole reason why I put in Steppenwolf? But they could have done more character development, a lot more for at least Cyborg, Flash, and Aquaman. A lot more. They could have made the story a little more interesting, and all. So. I'm going to give the film out of 10, a 7 out of 10. Now, that's an average rating in my opinion. It's an average fun time at the film. You're going to enjoy it, you're going to laugh, you're going to have fun with the action sequences and the characters. But the story is not there. I'm kind of upset with that because my reason is Zack Snyder put out, from what people have said, a full two and a half hour film filled with reasons why every character is there, a good story, and better action sequences, and we got none of that. The movie felt more of a, like a Joss Whedon film than a Zack Snyder film. I didn't even get any sense of a Zack Snyder film in there. I want the extended cut, if they ever, the Zack Snyder cut, if they ever release it. Now, they're ending now. I know for a fact there's one out there, because people in Warner Brothers say there is one out there. They've already signed the petition. For there to be one. Warner Bros. just needs to stop cutting the films. So yeah, I give this 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it, but I was really disappointed in the end. Um, yes, I'll definitely watch it again. I'm a DC fanboy. Obviously, I'll, I'll watch it again, but I was a little disappointed. Sadly. Um... But yeah, so that's all I can really say. This is my spoiler free version. I'm not really going to do a spoiler version. Don't see really any point in doing so. Maybe someone else will do a spoiler version. Just you can find plenty of them down on the internet. Just go through YouTube. Just leave your review. The first one's probably a spoiler review. Bet you from IGN. Does it deserve now? Right now, I checked it today, and it deserves. And it says, Rotten Tomatoes, forty-one percent. Does that does just say does not deserve a forty-one percent at all? I see a sixty to seventy percent, a fresh rating, <coughs> but no way a forty-one percent. It's just no, makes no sense. But yeah. So, anyways. If you liked the video, drop a like, leave a comment, oh wait, ladies and gentlemen, Batting on Bats has a surprise for you all come possibly Monday, possibly Wednesday, he's going to drop a video, a video game video, but it's not an injustice, it's not WWE. It's not NBA. 
I'll let you think about what it is. I'll let you think about what it is. The game is two years old, obviously, but just I'm gonna have fun with it. Yes, I'm have I have played it before, but I'm going to let you guys if you can how many people are first then you drop it down in the comments what you guys think it is. And stay tuned for Monday and or Wednesday. Or maybe even both. So anyways, after that being said, if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Look forward for another video later today, maybe NBA Live Mobile. But anyway, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. This is a big on bad scene. See you all in the next video. Peace.